Hi everyone, Josie here, Live at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. Today I'm going to be creating a traveler's notebook cover. This time it's going to be in an A5 size. And for traveler's notebook covers, I have used different materials ranging from paper pads that are kind of used for scrapbooking as well as card stocks, heavy duty card stocks, as well as, believe it or not, I've done also traveler's notebook covers using a mouse pad. So before I continue on with this DIY, I just want to mention that this video is sponsored by Yode. That's J-O-R-D, pronounced Yode. The company is based in St. Louis and they specialize in wood watches, both for men and women. They always come up with new designs just like this one, the Sierre for her, and this is spelled S-I-E-R here and what I like about this one it has some designs that have marble effect on the top or the face of the watch very sleek it's so pretty you can wear this any time of the day I was pleasantly surprised to see that this came with an extra strap I thought I was just gonna be receiving one with the blue leather However, there is an extra strap that you can use in interchange with the leather strap depending on the type of style that you want to wear for that day or for any occasion, especially formal occasions. It's, sometimes it's tough to wear something that may not kind of go with a certain style of dress or attire and it's good that this one came with an extra strap and I like that at the back there is a free engraving that they offer and I put here be still and it's also gold plated at the back and of the rim I like the gold dial and you could see the Sierra logo there as well. There is a giveaway that Yod is sponsoring. They are offering a hundred dollars off and apply towards any style, either for men or for women, whatever style of watch you choose. I will be adding in the description box below the link where you can enter so that you can win that hundred dollars off. So don't forget to enter for your chance to win. Anyway, let's get on with this DIY. I am going to be using a vinyl or plastic placemat that I got at Dollar Tree and this is in the spring medallion design. I am going to be cutting this to size and I'm going to be using my Westcott paper cutter. Now you can also use a sharp pair of scissors or a box cutter or exacto knife. Now here's my placemat. I'm going to be avoiding the side where there's a corner, you know, the round corner. And I am going to cut through that because I want it to be even and I don't really need the big round corner. I am bending at the back. I want this a rounded back. I'm going to put a little bit of crease at the very top so that it will just be my marking point. So here I'm just showing you how I measure using my T ruler and just marking the lines. Now this is really very crucial especially if you're just going to use a cutter or a pair of scissors but I'm just showing you I'm also giving some allowance on the top and bottom portion. I made several trims on top and bottom, but the final measurement is 9 inches long, 13 inches wide. I'm using my roll of elastic band as a guide to make the round corners, but if you have a corner cutter, you can use that as well. But I'm using just a pair of scissors here. I'm just marking here where I'm going to be punching the hole. As you can see, I am using the line that I placed at the center as my demarcation. So I'm just putting two dots on each end. And I'm going to do that at the bottom as well. To create the mark or to put the mark, I am just using the tip or the edge of the notebook. You know, that back there. And that's where I'm going to align it. 
so that when I put the elastic bands through, it will be just at the same height. Then I am going to go ahead and puncture my holes. Now going to be using these elastics that I got at Amazon. You can also get these at Joann's. Dollar Tree sells the ones that are thinner and a little bit weaker if you don't want it to be too thin. It's okay to use that in smaller traveler's notebooks in my opinion, but for the bigger ones because you're going to need a lot of materials, a long one, and it may snap. So the thicker, that as long as it fits the whole the better especially if you are planning on putting chunky notebooks or bigger notebooks that's how you have to do it you have to use a thicker or a bigger elastic just threading it through well uh, the whole so I have other tutorials it's similar it's, this is just longer or bigger but I'm going to be inserting a link on the upper right hand corner. You can click that so you can watch how I did it. I even used a needle, an upholstery needle, so that it can fit through. done here is I cut enough material so that when I tie my double knot I have enough materials left and then I'm just gonna trim it so tying a double knot making sure that it is tight and secured and I'm just gonna be measuring another length here so that it will be enough to tie up and keep my traveler's notebook cover closed so I'm just trying to kind of do my best estimate here this is as tight as I want it because if I put more notebooks I don't want the elastic to snap then I'm gonna be cutting it I'll just leave enough extra allowance there maybe a couple more inches there so that when I put the elastics together then I can put a knot to lock it up Next, I am going to be puncturing a hole right at the center here, and it's perfect because the medallion is just perfectly lined up. The circle there that you see, the very center. Since my hole puncher will be too short for this, I'm going to be using my awl, and I'm just going to be puncturing at this center here. Make sure that you have enough space for the two ends because this is going to be a little thicker because you're going to be inserting both ends so it's a double thread and you can just insert it okay okay let's do this Now that it's done, I'm going to try to put a tassel here 
it's a coordinating tassel the same color I got this at Michaels so you can either put it at the back top portion of this traveler's notebook or you can put it on the front so that you can have a tassel that dangles in the front whichever you want but I'm gonna be putting it at the top so I do hope you enjoyed this video everyone if you did please give it a thumbs up please share to anyone who may be interested in creating their own traveler's notebook and this only cost me a dollar for the placemat the other items I already have on hand but if you will put a value on the elastics as well as the tassels and the notebooks it will probably cost you approximately five dollars or less again thanks for joining me here today and I'll talk to you again on my next video take care and God bless. Bye-bye.